So as a producer, you want your kick to be more head and more edible than other sounds in your drum kit. That's why we end up layering two, three or more kicks in the channel rack. Um, so instead of doing that, you can merge them into one powerful kick that will create for your own. And that's what I'm going to be showing you how to do it. So I'm going to start off by adding two kicks as I normally would in any project. Um, one kick must occupy the mid range frequencies and one must just be a sub kick, a kick with a lot of low frequencies and I'll fill each four steps. And then before pressing play, I have to make sure that they both start playing at the same time so that um, it sounds like one kick. And then to do that, I zoom in using this trim button and then I can clearly see the wave there. And then I do the same for this one. So as you can all see now, they both start at the same time. There isn't that time delay on either kick. So I'm gonna go ahead and add them to the mixer. Select um, all these, they'll go to the mixer and then Control, Shift and L. So I'm gonna now um, route them to the same um, sub mix. I'm gonna name this, this kick, all right? So this is a channel where I am merging all of these. I'm just gonna color it in blue. All right, that's fine. What I'll do next is add an EQ to all of these. Add an EQ, add an EQ. Now let's just play what we have. So now we're gonna focus on mixing and processing the kick that we are trying to design. Um, the first thing I'll do is mix it downward take it to around um, negative 12 decibels and then on the master it's at negative 6 decibels so i'm gonna mix it down to around between negative 9 and negative 12 or between negative 9 and negative 6 actually okay let's check okay i think that should be fine um, the next thing we're going to do is um, use our parametric EQs. So for the sub kick, I will trim the high frequencies and then for the mid range kick, I will trim off a bit of low frequencies. So for this one, I'm going to apply a low pass. All right, that should be fine. And then for this one, I will just um, use the low shelf and um, increase the step to eight. So what I do is I don't completely trim off the low frequencies because if I do that, I will be um, defying or you know canceling the whole characteristic of a kick. So the function of a kick is to provide low frequencies and a, a pump to the song. So I don't have to really trim off the low frequencies or all of the low frequencies. So I'll just do a shelf just like that. sounds powerful so far and then um, for the master I'm just gonna give it a kick so this is applying um, an effect to the overall sound um, the next thing I will do is add a preset from Maximus um, you can pick up any preset of your choice depending on how you want your kick to sound like so let's just go select any that's too punchy, so I'm gonna go for punchy drums. Still a bit punchy, let's go for kick pump. All right, that sounds fine. So the last thing to do is record what we have, and then to do that, I'll use Edison. Um, so what Edison does is it records what's playing. I'm gonna go press record and then press play. So we only have to capture one kick, so I'll trim off the second kick, um, cut. And then now we have to trim off this beat here just to make sure that there are no time delays on our kick, cut. Let's press play. Um, our kick is starting a bit late. So let's zoom in and trim off this part too. All right, there we go. Um, cut looks fine 
So now the last thing I'll do is go save this, save sample as, and then um, save it um, on uh, any folder you can recognize, and then give it a name. Um, let me give this this kick. Save, and then I'm gonna load this sample onto my channel rack and then fill each first step then play it as you can hear it sounds a bit low what i'll do is normalize it and then add it to mixer then um, add a preset from maximus to make it punchy now we're gonna use maybe punchy drums or um punchy drums or kick pump so any preset is fine depending on what you're looking for i think that's about it for today's video guys that's how you would go about creating your own sound and making it um punchy or the way you want it to sound like um otherwise if you enjoyed the video please do leave a like leave a comment let me know what you guys um think about the video um that's it i'll catch you on my next video cheers